Brother, sister, how's it going? This is Brother Her. I'm on my way to work. Um, it's like, uh, and I just, real quick, I want to go over some things and tell you um, real quick what we got to do. One of the things we got to do is God's been telling me. See, a lot of things about revelation knowledge, one of the things about Jesus Christ is you have to work it. The biggest thing that God had me do, like my bishop says, displacement, being in the wrong place, is worse than error in many cases, doing the wrong thing. You know, you do the wrong thing in a safe practice environment, you can learn from and survive. But if you do the wrong thing at the wrong place, you will, you may end up dying or dealing with severe consequences because you're in a real life, a live real world situation. So what I'm telling, what the Holy Spirit had me do real quick, and I encourage all you brothers and sisters who are in the word, if God brings a word to you, jump on your phone right away and post it up because we need to put you know jesus christ on social media as much as anything but what i want to tell you real quick is that um real quick um is sometimes in life you have to learn when to hold your peace and allow god to fight your battles for you um exodus um bishop jace was talking about that in um, exodus um if i recall correctly exodus chapter 9 read exodus 9 and what happened was, see, we, the whole premise was you have to know how to keep your mouth shut. Or for lack of better words, you have to know when to shut up. Because it's better to be hard with yourself and tell yourself to shut up and look like a fool or in front of people who won't tell you to shut up and to destroy yourself. So you got to know when just to hold your peace, kind of like in chess where you use a hyper-modernist approach, which is instead of occupying the center of the board with pieces, you know... And then defending those pieces, you basically attack from a distance. You turn the center of the board into a, a really a death field or into a death trap. You know, you fee and kettle. In other words, you let your bishops cover from a long distance, kind of like basically like a sniper. Instead of putting tanks and soldiers on the center of the battlefield, you put, um, you know, snipers in the trees behind it behind the battlefield and let them cover from a distance. So you're gonna have that sniper-like approach where you can defend from a distance. And that's one thing um, I would tell people to do is, um, you know, know when God wants you to keep your mouth shut, okay, brothers and sisters, what I'm saying, I'm sorry, I don't mean to ramble. Know when to keep your mouth shut, okay? And just pray and let God hold your peace just sit there and smile, sit there and just kind of play it off. Roll with the punches. You ain't got to throw one back or throw one first, but you can sit back and do like Antonio Tarver and roll with them bad boys or James Tony and roll with them punches, okay? God bless love you all. If there's anybody on the sound of my voice who believes Jesus Christ was the son of God and God raised him from the dead, um, I'm going to do the prayer of salvation. I just need you to repeat out loud after me in this prayer. is the one thing you have to have to get into heaven. Um, just repeat after me word for word. Dear Jesus, I make you my Lord and Savior. And I believe that God raised Jesus from the dead. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless.